Stop, Raju. Let me introduce about myself. Uh, hi, my name is Shekhar. I have 15 years of experience on Microsoft Technologies. Currently, I'm working as an Azure architect. Okay, yeah. Next, before going for Microsoft Azure, just I want to let you know something about IT infrastructure. Okay, do you know what is the IT infrastructure? Anyone has any idea? Generally, what is the IT infrastructure? IT infrastructure is the combination of software as well as like hardware. Is the like uh, if it's a, like in a data center, we can see the like database server, computers, and all the, all the combination yes. of hardware and software. Yes, correct. Simply, we can say uh, if we enter into the one organization, whatever the things are visible, that we will call it as infrastructure. Am I right? I can say systems, cables, wires okay uh, and the routers internet connectivity server rack server data center all these things we can call them as infrastructure simply we can say it infrastructure is nothing but collection of hardware software switches network load balancer is called it infrastructure right okay mm -hmm. to maintain our own it infrastructure we require what data center okay if you go for any organization the company will have their own data center. The company uh, will have their own data center. See, this is the exact picture of IT infrastructure. If we consider, see, these are the devices. Devices are connecting to one router. So this is load balancer. The request is maintained by load balancer. Also, this is the hardware system, RAT, database. These are the network connectivity, cable, swipes. These all we will call them as what? IT infrastructure. This is the exact definition of IT infrastructure. The term infrastructure as an information technology that refers collection of hardware, software, switches, network load balancer is called IT infrastructure. Now, uh, to maintain our own IT infrastructure, we required what? One DC. What is the DC? Data center. Okay, if you go for TCS, Cartridge and Wipro, Accenture, any company in the world, they will have their own data center. They have their own data center. Okay, so simply I can say, what is the data center? Data center is a Heart of the organization. I'm repeating, what is the data center? Data center is a heart of the organization where we can build, deploy, manage, and access the applications through internal or corporate network is called data center. Okay, I'm repeating, what is the data center? Data center is a heart of the organization. Okay, for example, uh, you have an organization, you got one project where I would like to build five servers. So to build five servers, what we have to do? We have to go and verify whether space is available in the data center. Once space is available, then we will rack the servers. Then we will start building all these five servers from scratch. Okay, so that is what data center. See, this is the exact picture of data center. This is the exact picture of data center. For example, we are working on one organization. We got one new project where I would like to build 10 virtual missions. I can say 10 virtual missions. First step, what we have to do? First, submit the request to data center team. This is the data center team. Okay, they will verify whether space is available or not. Yes, they will drag the space. Once space is available, first step, they will install operating system. Okay, second step, they will configure the networking. Okay, third step, they will install all monitoring tools. Okay, fourth step, they will install security vulnerabilities and security patches for a, to deploy your application. Okay, fifth step, we will configure the firewall rules. Sixth step, uh, we will enable network security rules, okay, virtual network rules, okay, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Finally, we will verify all these servers are built 
based on what is that checklist or not once these servers are built finally these servers would be hand over to development team am i right development team or project team whoever it is whatever we are calling it as now to complete this process minimum it will take 7 to 10 days why because uh, we have to submit the request it should be approved by manager okay then uh, it will go to data center team data center team should allocate the space for these five servers depends on business requirement okay then installation configuration management uh, verify check security vulnerabilities to do all these things it will take minimum 7 to 10 days okay minimum 7 to 10 days okay uh, this is burden to organization why because if it is taking like uh, 7 to 10 days it is very difficult nowadays everything is happening instantly right so apart from that we have to manage windows team i mean operating system team next networking team okay next load balancer team next monitoring team next security team next application deployment and management team so many teams are required to manage or to provide the support to customer okay so to maintain these many teams to maintain our own data center okay the project budget the project budget is very 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 high okay we are not able to bear the organizations are not able to bear such kind of amount Okay, that is the one reason why the entire IT industry looking towards cloud, 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 cloud. Okay, if we go for cloud computing, whatever the count I said, five servers, that can be deployed within span of a minute. I am telling only one minute, not even two minutes. Okay, we can host all these servers within span of a minute, very seven days and uh, one minute. There is a lot of gap. Okay, when you go for cloud computing, you need not maintain, what is that? These many teams like Windows team, monitoring team, implementation team, application monitoring team, security team, many things. Everything is inbuilt. We can provision the virtual machines within span of a minute. Okay, that's why entire organization, all the organization in the world looking towards cloud, 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 cloud. Okay. This is the just one reason. We have many reasons. Okay. So what are the other reasons are there? Why entire organization is moving towards cloud computing? First thing, have a look. To maintain the data center, it is not a small task. What is that? To maintain the data center, it is not a small task. First thing, to maintain our own data center, we have to purchase the building. We have to purchase the building or construct the building. Okay, that building should be construct as per rules and regulations and guidelines provided by government. Okay, so why? Because uh, we are going to store the data that might be sensitive for all uh, personal people or business related information. So to build their own data center, they have to follow rules and regulations and guidelines provided by IT laws by government. Okay, yeah, next. So, uh, see, first thing, we have to purchase one building and design according to data center rules and regulations and guidelines. Next, uh, we have to design the data center in such a way that Next, to, after designing the data center, we need many things. Okay, what are the things? First thing, we need dedicated space for housing infrastructure, the point which I have just explained. Okay, next, we need high bandwidth internet. High bandwidth internet in the sense, for example, uh, my organization data center is there in New York. I am sitting in Hyderabad. Okay, to access the data, to access the data or application information or database, we need high bandwidth internet. We need high bandwidth internet. Okay, that is the another cost, right? Next, uh, 
we need redundant power supply. Redundant power supply in the sense, see that to run this data center, we need electricity. We need electricity. If there is no electricity, then we should able to run this data center with a battery or generator. Again, that is cost, right? Yeah, next step, dust-free environment. You know, right? So always uh, we should we should construct this building and design and the main name should be, what is that? Dust-free environment. Do you know uh, Microsoft data centers, uh, they are trying to deploy them inside of the sea, inside of the sea. So going forward by 2030, data centers cannot be appear on Earth. Uh, data centers, they are going to build it inside of the sea. Okay, that is the innovation is going on. Maybe that will be available by 2030. Okay, fine. Next. Other thing is uh, efficient cooling system. Okay, efficient cooling system means if we enter into the data center, you can see less than 10 degrees Celsius temperature. Less than 10 degrees Celsius temperature. Why? Because any hardware device, it will produce a lot of heat. Okay, uh, in order to cool it, so always we should maintain the AC temperature less than 10 degrees Celsius. Okay, yeah, next, a uh, high physical security. So high physical security in the sense, anyhow, as you know that already, the data center, uh, we can store the data that is very sensitive data, am I right? Sensitive data in the sense, we should provide a uh, high physical security. Unauthorized persons should not enter into the data center, okay? So unauthorized person should not enter into the data center. So we have to provide high physical security. If we maintain our own data center, that is the story I am telling. Okay, next. So this is the disaster recovery. Disaster recovery in the sense, for example, this is the data center, right? This is the data center. Uh, assume that if you are managing only single data center, Okay, uh, it got corrupted. It got corrupted. Total data center got corrupted. If it is got corrupted, then whatever the data we have managed, everything will get vanished. I mean, we have lost the data. So we do not have the data. We do not have the option to recover as well. So to maintain, what is that? same data in multiple location, we need to maintain another thing called disaster recovery. So another backup data center. If this data center is collapsed, another data center should be there to recover the data. So it should not affect it to your business. Am I right? So uh, if you are maintaining single data center, that is not enough. We, ha we also have to implement disaster recovery. Disaster recovery in the sense, recover the data if any unexpected events are occurred. You know, right? I think in the year of 2000, in the year of 2000 or 2001, there is a World Trade Center collapse in US. Why these terrorists are targeting World Trade Center? Why? Because Indian, uh, sorry, US economy, okay, US all financial system they are storing on the data center. That's why they have collapsed. What is that? Uh, World Trade Center. Even though they have collapsed, uh, the US did not last even single record. Single record in a sense. So whatever the debits and credits provided by uh, US, they haven't lost such related data. Why? Because they're already maintaining what is that? Disaster recovery, another data center. Even the World Trade Center are collapsed by terrorists, they haven't lost any data, only physical damage of that building. That's it. Okay, same way to maintain our data safe and secure, we need to maintain what is that? Disaster recovery. Okay, yeah, to build another same data center, again, it is cost. Again, it is cost. 
okay yeah next other thing is we need more time more expense to build infrastructure i said right so if you would like to build few servers uh, it will take minimum 7 to 10 days still in real time okay because of all these challenges entire it industry looking towards cloud 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 clear so let me summarize the point what we have discussed so far okay what is the infrastructure what is the cloud what are the challenges are there to maintain our own data center okay next now you people tell me what is the cloud cloud is generally nowadays it is generic term okay if you go for any way uh, people are telling that cloud 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 okay now what is the cloud now you people tell me yeah direct uh, uh, we can say nadal satya is going to be visited hyderabad uh, uh, microsoft campus tomorrow okay they are marketing about public uh, cloud 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 why cloud why should we go for cloud they are in detail providing in seminars day before yesterday noida i think yesterday also in delhi tomorrow is going to be visited in microsoft office in hyderabad they are going to launch fourth largest data center in hyderabad that will be ready by 2025 25 okay so uh, why these uh, corporate ceos are marketing like cloud 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 why cloud can you tell me anyone what is the cloud anyone uh, to store and retrieve the data from everywhere like yeah okay uh, internet yes so simply i can say cloud is nothing but collection of what is that resources i am repeating what is the cloud cloud is nothing but collection of remote services and access them over the internet is called cloud okay so this is the cloud assume that in the cloud they have deployed all the services whatever the required for enterprise environment okay all the services are at single place as per your requirement just access and consume that that's it okay yeah next what is the cloud i am repeating cloud is nothing but collection of remote services and access them over the internet is called cloud computing okay remote services in a sense for your organization in your environment whatever the things are there everything they have placed in the cloud for example you need artificial intelligence yes you can access it i need to create one server access it yes do it okay if you need implement machine learning yes implement it that service already there and uh, if you need uh, uh, access and deploy the web apps yes access and host it all these things are happening within span of minutes okay here you need not uh, manage your own infrastructure you need not worry about disaster recovery you need not worry about uh, infrastructure configuration related information everything managed by what is that cloud vendor okay so this is the exact definition provided by uh, nist what is the cloud cloud is nothing but it is model of convenient on demand network access based on your demand any time anywhere you can access those services okay so where we can provision the network server storage applications that can be rapidly provisioned and with minimal management that is called cloud computing if you feel that that is complicated very simple okay cloud computing is nothing but collection of remote services just access them over the internet is called cloud computing okay right yeah next now in the cloud computing there are three types of service models okay what are they guys any idea So private cloud and public and hybrid cloud service models one is 
as infrastructure as a service okay one is infrastructure as a service platform as a service yes pass. okay pass pass in the sense platform as a service okay pass what is that software as a service why they have categorized into different uh, three types of cloud service deployment models okay one is as as in the sense infrastructure they will provide the infrastructure application deployment and development should be managed by yourself okay for example you would like to deploy one java application okay for that you need to build five servers yes go ahead and build five servers within span of a minute then on top of it to host java application what we have to do install web servers web logic web sphere or jbus apache tomcat server on top of it host your java application then that should be managed by yourself okay the organization i mean cloud vendor just to provide the virtual machines then remaining management should be taken care by yourself why because application is yours management is yours that is what infrastructure as a service clear for example after one year your business is not good okay then go and destroy it at this moment okay till whatever the things we have consumed just pay for that that is what infrastructure as a services okay next platform as a services okay what is the platform as a services any idea so the name itself it is describing that platform platform in a sense um, they are providing platform and run time for example you have to deploy one java application a java code is ready with you okay that entire environment provided by vendor that we will call it as platform as a services for example they have built already environment okay so with the pre install and configuration of the web server as well for example you would like to deploy one java application then to deploy the java application whatever the environment is required already it is in pre setup just go and deploy the your application so here you need not worry about installation and configuration management network monitoring everything would be taken care by vendor just you have to take care about deploy the application deployment of application it doesn't matter just you can drag and drop your application files so they are providing run time and platform you need not worry about management okay that is what infrastructure as a services clear yeah next now uh, uh, next thing is saas okay so in our day to day life in our day to day activities which we are performing in organization already we are entering to the software as a service could you please tell me best example for software as a service anyone uh, like gmail oh, yeah gmail. very good so microsoft yes o365 oh, yes office 365 is the succeed product in the market no other products are there to beat office 365 okay office 365 it has around 30 services okay nothing has to be installed in our device okay everything we can do it using browser all uh, to do all you need only internet connectivity okay best example uh, you are using ms teams am i right okay who is managing by uh, ms teams are you managing are your organization managing no it is managed by microsoft yes or no we have ms teams outlook okay uh, sharepoint okay uh, stream okay next also we have uh, dynamic crm dynamic crm okay uh, sorry crm next also we have ms word 
M S uh, P P T Outlook. Everything. Uh, all these components are managed by Microsoft. Okay, you need not install all these components in your device. Everything can be accessible in the browser itself. Okay, yeah, this is what software as a services. Okay, see guys, these are the components provided by Office 365. Now, admin, bookings, calendar, compliance, uh, dynamics, uh, Excel, form, okay, analytics, one drive. Okay, one note. Okay, next uh, Outlook, People, Planner, Power Apps, Power Automation, Power BI. All these things are managed by Microsoft. You need not worry about manage these things. This is about what? Software as a services. Okay, so this is the one side is enough to differentiate between on premises and cloud. Have a look. Uh, this is the on premises. These are what? Cloud computing. Now tell me in on premises to perform all these things networking, storage, okay, next operating system installation and configuration, middleware, runtime application. To perform all these things, we required one thing. What was that? Any idea? Just now I said. To maintain all these own data center. And, yeah, we required our own DC data center. That is what on premises. Next, in the cloud, if you go for infrastructure as a service, see guys carefully observe the things which are highlighted with red color that will be taken care by vendor. Okay, now would you like to deploy? Windows operating system or Linux, that is totally depends on business requirement. Okay, some projects may require, I would like to build five servers with Windows operating system. Some same, another project, they would like to deploy five servers with Linux operating system. Yes, you can choose the operating system on top of whatever the types of application you would like to host it. Yes, go ahead and host it. Okay, yeah, that is about what infrastructure as a services. Next platform as a service in the sense I said, right? Runtime, okay, and the platform they have provided, just you have to take care about your application. You least bother about it, what type of application you are going to host it. In our hand, if you have Java, yes, Java rediment environment is there. If you would like to host PHP, Python, Ruby, .NET, any type of application, yes, there is a ready-made environment, go ahead and deploy it. Deployment is a not big challenge. Just drag and drop the files. How we people are drag and drop the files from your local to OneDrive or Google Drive. Okay, there are different ways to host the application. I will show you how to do that. Next, software as a service, see nothing is in your hand, everything managed by the vendor just you have to consume it whatever they have provided that's it okay that is about what a uh, difference between on premises and cloud computing okay next see so uh, this is the types of cloud what are the types of cloud one is public private hybrid what is the public guys? Generic term, right? What is the public? Accessible by all. Yeah, the resources can be accessible from anywhere in the world. It's called public. Do you agree? I am repeating. What is the public? The resources can be accessible from anywhere in the world. It's called public. Okay, for example, I have created one virtual mission. If I share username and password with you, you can sit anywhere in the world, then can communicate my mission and perform the activities. Okay, that is about what? Public cloud. Okay, private in the sense? The organization. Yes, 
the resources can be I'm accessible ex within the corporate network is called private for example you are working in tcs okay so what we will do we'll go to the office and uh, we will connect it to tcs provided vpn vpn in the sense virtual private network then it will establish it to client network then we will able to access what all client related applications other services the moment when you disconnect the vpn or coming out from the organization then will we able to communicate from our local home network no am i right that is what private network Hybrid in the sense, you know, right? Hybrid keyword nowadays in IT, we are asking about hybrid model, hybrid model. What does it mean? Hybrid in the sense? Working the combination. Days. Combination of public and private. And private is called hybrid. Same way, uh, in our generic words, two days work from home, three days work from home is, uh, office. The combination we will call it as what? Hybrid model. Am I right? Same way here also same. Okay, few of the applications are running in public and some of the applications are running private. If we establish the connection between these two and access overall things that we will call it as what? Hybrid. Okay, but hybrid it is costly and sensitive and more uh, flexible and secure as well. Also, it is high cost. I will let you know how to do the tunnel later. Yeah, next. Now, uh, to provide cloud computing, there are many vendors are there. Am I right? What are they? Any idea? One is? Microsoft Azure. Yeah, Microsoft Azure. Microsoft Azure. Microsoft Azure. AWS. Yeah, AWS. second AWS. one, AWS. Third one, GCP. Cloud. GCP. Yeah, GCP, Google Cloud. IBM. Yeah, Oracle Cloud. Next, fourth, fifth one, IBM Cloud. IBM. I can say IBM Bluemix. Okay, next, sixth one, Alibaba. Okay, also we have OpenStack. Okay, we have n number of cloud vendors are there to provide cloud computing technology. Out of them, okay, if you consider cloud market is 100%, okay, these two, okay, Microsoft Azure and AWS, they occupied 80%, remaining all 20%. Okay, so 80% are paid by AWS and Microsoft Azure, remaining all GCP, Oracle, IBM, okay, Alibaba, OpenStack, just their percentage in the world is just 20%. Okay, so why Microsoft Azure, why not AWS, okay? Uh, yeah, Microsoft will say, I am the market leader. AWS will say, I am the market leader. Okay, what is the between both of them? Why should we go for Microsoft Azure? Why not AWS? And what are the services are very flexible in Azure? What are the things are not there in AWS? That all we will discuss it in detail. Okay, yeah, first thing, what is the Azure? See why they have mentioned Azure keyword? Simply they can mention Microsoft Cloud, right? instead of Microsoft Cloud, why they have mentioned Azure? What is the uh, meaning of Azure? Any idea? Have you tried out any time? Okay, so this word first suggested and Microsoft Azure implemented by first thing, Nadal Satya. The Azure Cloud Computing Initiate behind that is Nadal Satya. Okay, so initially, uh, Azure in the sense, blue color style. You can go ahead and Google uh, Azure in the sense that is blue color sky. In the sky itself, we will have the cloud. That is the meaning behind that they have mentioned this keyword. So initially Microsoft Azure low is this is the one. Blue color clouds where they have mentioned just words. Initially Microsoft uh, introduced that Azure into the market the initial load is this is the one. Now they have changed it slowly. Okay, so what is the Microsoft Azure? Any idea? Azure is a comprehensive set of cloud services. Note it down. What is the Microsoft Azure? Azure is a comprehensive set of cloud services where we can build, deploy, manage, and access the applications through global network data centers is called Microsoft Azure. 
Okay, this is the exact definition. This definition provided by Microsoft, not by me. As it is, I copied and pasted it here. Okay, what is the Microsoft Azure? Microsoft Azure is a comprehensive set of cloud services. This is the interview question. Okay, when you attend uh, Microsoft itself, you will get this question. What is the Azure? Azure is a comprehensive, comprehensive in the sense, set of, group of, all enterprise features. Okay. Azure is a comprehensive set of cloud services where you can build, deploy, manage, and access the applications through global network data centers. Is called Microsoft Azure. Okay. Yeah. Next. When Microsoft Azure came into the picture, okay, Microsoft Azure came into the picture in the year of 2010. Okay, that time we will call it as Windows Azure. Windows Azure, it supports only Microsoft related applications. Okay, Macs, they are supporting only Microsoft related applications. Later, in the year of 2014, okay, they introduce new deployment model called ARM. ARM in the sense Azure Resource Manager. And they renamed Windows Azure as a, what is that? Microsoft Azure. Sorry. Okay, Microsoft Azure. Okay, so this is about what? Uh, finally, now we, we, we are calling it as Microsoft officially in the market. Okay, yeah, so this is the one slide. So in the 2020, 2010, they introduced, what is that? Windows Azure, later in the year of 2014, they renamed Windows Azure as a Microsoft Azure. This is the history of the Microsoft Azure. Okay, I am telling why Microsoft Azure, why not AWS is. Microsoft has around 200 plus data center space. Around the world, they have 200 plus data centers. No other cloud is there uh, which has these many data centers. Okay, this is the whole biggest and the first organization which they have installed the, these many data centers. Next, uh, see that is what directly they have mentioned. Azure has more global regions than any other cloud provider. Here, other cloud provider in the sense I can say AWS. Okay, it is offering scalable, bring your application closer to customers. Bring your application closer to customers in the sense, uh, we can provide better performance. We can provide better service. If any service is down in the same, our local data center, they can fix on immediate basis. Okay, in order to provide high availability. So we have another data center where we can migrate, automatically migrate our services to another data center in order to meet 99.99% SLA. Okay, these are advantages are there about Microsoft Azure. Clear? So uh, they have mentioned 60 plus region and around 150, 140 countries, they have their own data centers. Okay, clear? This is about what? Azure information. Next. So why should we go for Azure? Why not AWS? Just know a given few points. Remaining all, see, uh, it is low cost. Compared to AWS, Azure is less cost. Next, instant capacity. Instant capacity in a sense, I would like to uh, increase the size or downgrade the size of VM or downgrade the size of configuration of the app services. 
any every time any time anywhere uh, if you have internet connectivity just you can do downgrade or upgrade configuration of your application that is what instant capacity like instant copy okay yeah next speed and agility next global reach you know right your data can be distributed across the globe in a minutes okay yeah you know right why microsoft and google and facebook their applications are very fast even though they have billions of customers all around the world why because they are publishing the data they are publishing the data across the world nearest cache servers okay if i access my facebook my request will go to nearest data center not main data center okay that is about what they are distributing the content across the globe in a minutes next it is secure so security is doesn't a matter nowadays they are providing high security you will not able to hack that data even though if you tapped nadala satya laptop directly you will not able to do anything why because they are uh, encrypted the data many layers okay so microsoft azure certified around 70 plus complaints no worries about security okay yeah this is about what uh, benefits of microsoft azure okay yeah next so in azure we have around the 15 plus certification papers i said my words are very clear why because uh, microsoft azure is a comprehensive set of services in the sense we have web services artificial intelligent iot machine learning intune microsoft defender like 200 plus services they have provided uh, more than that so based on your requirement you people can consume any services okay so for every technology we have separate paper okay so main thing is i can suggest uh, we have administrator administrator certification paper is az104 okay next uh, azure devops i can say azure administration azure devops okay azure devops certification paper is az400 same way if we go for azure development okay here we have az204 okay next uh, azure architect okay azure architect uh, is az305 uh, these are the important four certification papers are there as i said azure ai azure cyber security azure data engineer azure fundamentals okay azure machine learning uh, azure security azure virtual we have n number of certification papers are there around uh, 15 to 20 okay but very popular sir these four i am going to teach you these two certification papers microsoft azure administration with devops so what are the topics i am going to cover and uh, what are the sub topics are there in respect of these two okay that all we will present it in next session okay in tomorrow session okay if you have any questions feel free and ask me i will happy to help you yeah we cover the fundamentals 900 Yeah, AZ fundamentals, AZ nine hundred. That already included in AZ one zero four. You need not worry about it. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. Syllabus no screen. Sorry. Syllabus. Yeah, yeah, that's what. So whatever the content I am going to present, I am going to explain for this course. I will uh, I will display it in tomorrow session. Sir, I have a few questions. Yeah. how was the career growth sir yeah azure has lot of demand in the market guys uh for 3 years experience how much we can expect this salary 
forget about salaries and all. Just to learn and enter into the market. That is kind. Okay. okay. So getting the salary that all depends on how much package you are uh, drawing in one company. Many parameters are there. Okay. Yeah. Any coding is required, sir. So administration, it is no coding is required. That's what we have separate paper development. Okay. Ah, uh, for development, you should have proficient in ah uh, uh, like Java dot net so that you can move to development things. Okay. Azure administration and the DevOps. This is total configuration and the configuration implementation. No coding is required, so some scripting part is required. Like that, I will. Uh, compared to Azure, uh, AWS has more services, sir. Ah, uh, uh, no, sure. both are same, guys. If okay. I ask you, BMW car is good or Ferrari car is good, means what you will say? Both are good. They have their own mm -hmm. isolated features. That's it. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, sir, after finishing the course, uh, if I want something like a uh, in like our CV, can we get some help in that as well? Like, uh, I will provide the sample CVs and help you out how to do that CV preparation. Uh, I will give the demo. How, how what is the CV? I will share the sample versions. You people can modify according to that and publish it. Okay. Answer if uh, like uh, whatever the lecture and suppose like we we will get this PPT or like yeah for every session uh, I will share the PPTs and uh, PDFs through me okay recordings everything I will share with you no need to worry okay and the session will every day like uh, seven days in a week or like uh, uh, five days in a week okay five days Monday to Friday. Ah, uh, Saturday, Sunday, you people can practice it. Again, Monday we will start it. Okay, okay. Yeah. The course duration is two months. Okay. So one month, uh, Microsoft Azure administration. Other, uh, other. Ah, uh, next one month is DevOps. Okay. So one month in the sense, like, ah, uh, uh, how much basis? How many hours will cover? Every day, one hour. Even Saturday, Sunday also. Yeah, if I take the Saturday and Sunday, yes, I will take uh, uh, Saturday, Sunday also one month. Okay, I mean, can we consider like a thirty days uh, for an Azure admin and thirty days for an Azure dev? Right? Yes, one okay. month Azure admin, one month Azure dev. Okay, good. Yeah. Sir, are you going to cover real time scenarios, sir? Yes, I am going to cover only real time scenarios. Okay, sir. Thank you. And this uh, certification purpose, uh, so we will be getting some help, sir. Means, uh, sorry, because for certification and all, we have to pay uh, extra and take the exams, right? Yeah, that is the external. Uh, that certification paper, uh, that all I will give the information. In Actually, there is. The Can you hear me? Hello, am I audible? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, my voice is clear, right, guys? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, it's audible. Yeah, you can go ahead, Renke. Okay. Yeah. And if I should miss any classes, we can get the recordings, right? Yes. Anyhow, every day we'll we'll be receiving the recordings. Okay. Okay. That's good. Are you going to cover uh, Docker and Kubernetes in this session? Yes, yes. Uh, in Azure DevOps, I will be covering Docker and Kubernetes. AKS, oh, Kubernetes services. Linux? Yeah, Linux initial I will cover. Okay, thanks. So in Azure administration, it's like uh, uh, server administration. It will cover storage, infrastructure maintenance. Uh, creating a VMs like that, it will be covered. Or? Yes, creating the VMs, deploying the application, okay, monitoring, troubleshooting, okay, everything, guys. Only Azure. So using the Terraform, you can uh, edit this on uh, like you can download through infrastructure as a code, uh, storage. Okay. Creating VMs. 
Hello. Uh, come again, we have a question. Ashok. Uh, yes. Like uh, now, we are man in, in website, we are manually creating VM storage, networking, all this stuff we are doing in Azure portal. By using the Terraform, we can, uh, you, you will say by using Terraform, how can we do all the yes. efforts? Yes, we can do Terraform, creating storage account services and all, we can deploy using Terraform templates. That can be covered in this Azure DevOps? Yes, 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 that will be covered in Azure DevOps. That's what I said, no? whatever the topics I am going to cover, everything I will present it in next session. Okay. And Thank one you, thing, sir. how it is different, you know, work-wise, Azure admin and DevOps engineer? Like, you know, DevOps engineer having many things to do, but admin part already. Yeah, said, DevOps in the sense, automation, guys. The name itself, it is describing that development and operations. If you merge it together, that we will call it as DevOps. Okay, but so like admin work is totally different, it will be there, right? Compared to DevOps. Ah, no, it is same. Admin work is based for DevOps. See, if you go for any cloud computing, you least bother about it, whether you will go for AWS or Google or uh, uh, Azure. So mm -hmm. admin part is mandatory, guys, for cloud. Okay, okay. Okay. So that knowledge Next, will be more you'll be beneficial. You'll be acting too. as an architect. You'll be acting as a data engineer. You'll be acting as a network. You'll be acting as a DevOps engineer. Uh, forget about them. First base is administrator. Without learning administrator, if you jump into some other things, again, you have to come from scratch. That is damn sure. Okay. And I think somehow it is related to AWS as well because some of my friends, they are working, but they took, you know, that some knowledge or some training outside. Yeah. And they learn AWS, but finally they are working as Azure admin only, Azure DevOps, not as AWS. So yeah, it's, Azure I think, DevOps quite... is very popular. Yeah, yeah. So it's mostly similar, I think, right? work-wise or some terminology will be different, but of course both are cloud only. How you give him the example, like you know, Ferrari is good or BMW. So almost same only, right? The terminology yeah, yeah, is. Same. Mm. And two months of the course will be finished or it will be counted here already, already you said, right? I think two months you said the days, right? The classes timing. So it yeah. will go around three months, definitely. No, two months, guys. Okay. Okay. For DevOps, it is required coding. Right? For uh, no, DevOps. configuration, little bit of the Terraform uh, to understand is required. So anyhow, that will I will take care about it. You need not. Uh, do we get the course content? Uh, what are the things covered? For yeah, Azure? Sure, sure, sure. I will share with you guys. Yeah. So the second one, uh, if we are taking uh, Azure administration. So after completion of this, uh, can we go for architect, Azure architect? Yes, happily you can go for architect. So which one is in demand actually? Uh, so now in the market, I can say administration with the apps, guys. So architect people maximum depends on your experience, guys. Okay. For example, architect, how it will be? See, for example, I am the client. Okay. All my servers are in on premises. Now I am looking for some cost saving. You are the architect. Hey, I would like to migrate my servers into Microsoft Azure just to provide your solutions. So you have to confirm if I migrate the servers into Azure, how much I can save the cost? What are the benefits they are providing? Okay, if we get any service down, what would be the resolution? Okay, that all you have to provide it. Okay. Is the architect job. Okay. Yeah. So if you want to know all these things, administrator is mandatory. And one more thing okay. that, you know, that uh, getting job into like Azure field, like cloud, either admin or DevOps, is it mandatory to having certification? Uh, not required, guys. Right. And so internal switch, how it is possible? In already... the sense, gate pass. Okay. Yeah. Certification in a sense, like a gate pass. Uh, I am the profession in this technology. I am the right person uh, to do this job. That's it. Okay, okay. Yeah. And internal switch is also the bit because already I'm working, having that, you know, I'm in the DBA part. I wanted to move internally first, later on I'll switch in other organizations. So it is, it will work, right? 
Yeah, awesome, yes. So now cloud is mandatory, guys. Whether you are working as a uh, database administrator or Windows administrator, some storage administrator or anything, now digital market is mandatory. That's why I think 10 days back, uh, Sundar Pichai given the one seminar. Now is the Nadal Satya providing the seminars all over the countries. Okay, now going forward, cloud is mandatory. All business taking care by these two only Azure and AWS. No worry on that. No worries about it. So GCP is like far behind right now and it is not leading because as you ah, at this is. point, uh, nothing that doesn't have much demand in the market. So most mm -hmm. of the market I said right, 80% they have acquired Microsoft and AWS. Why I'm saying Microsoft is later is so many components they are going to implement. Many changes are coming. The changes are implementing drastically. So now my Azure market share is like anything. You can Google it. I am not telling as a faculty. I am working employee. So happily you can get more information. So how many years of experience we can keep if we, after the completion of this course? Guys, for the uh, for real time people, no worries. Actually, you can keep for four to five years. Okay, happily they can hire you. Why? Because already you have real time experience. Uh, for newly entering into the organization, they have to keep minimum that is what three to five. So they have to learn many things. And so this you are already working as a DevOps, right? Or as your admin, right? In some way. Sorry. You are already working as a, a as your admin or like DevOps. I am working as an architect. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Definitely, that will help for, for us also to yeah. getting the real time things. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Thanks for your time. Have a great uh, sir, day. Yes. I have a question. Uh, actually, I have the content, but uh, when I uh, reach to other institute, they ask uh, that it is the uh, almost six month course. Then how you uh, finish yeah, it in? Totally uh, it depends on you guys. Okay. Uh, okay. Mine is my training is totally different. Okay. I will take only one batch. Okay. So some people will drag like one year. That doesn't look good. If I drag like six months or three months, finally you will lose the interest. Now market a uh, lot of changes are coming. So whatever the feature is there today, after one month that is uh, modified and some way they are keeping. Okay, it is not. It is not a. We are not studying like BTEC or MCA, like years and years. Okay, okay. So. complete the course as soon as possible. Learn basics and enter into the organization. That is the basic. If you learn everything is a perfect. That course, that implementation is not happening in the market nowadays. Now technology is like running like super fast. Okay. So my words are very clear. Uh, I will explain too much. This is totally real time. Okay. Uh, I'm whatever I'm going to explain. If you practice it, I can write it down bond. Hundred percent, you will get the job. Great, sir. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And the timings will be con only eight. Timings long. won't be changed. Six thirty to seven thirty. Uh, so that is the fixed time that far now. Okay. We can fix it. Evening, you don't have any batch, uh, Shekhar. Uh, and that's what I am telling. I will take only one batch. That's okay. It. Even I have office timings and all, right? I have to cover. That's what I am not going to run many batches, only one batch. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thanks for your time. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Okay, I hope you can see my screen now, right, guys? Everyone? Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So, in last session, just we had discussed about what? Warrior of Microsoft Azure. 
Now tell me what is the Microsoft Azure? Azure is a comprehensive set of cloud services where IT professionals or developers can build, deploy, manage, and access the applications through global network data centers. It's called Microsoft Azure. Okay. Yeah, can you tell me when Microsoft Azure came into the picture? Any idea? First, in the year of 2010. Okay, yeah, during the time we will call it as Windows Azure. Am I right? Next, later in the year of 2014, Microsoft introduced one new feature called ARM. Then they renamed it to what is that? Microsoft Azure. So now, officially, we are calling it as what? Microsoft Azure. Actually, we are calling it as Microsoft Azure. Okay. Yeah. Next. So, for Azure related, if you need any certificate information, just go to Microsoft.com. This is the official site. Microsoft.com. Okay. Now, uh, at end of the URL, just type learning. Okay, yeah, next. Okay, these are the different types of certifications. We have administrators, artificial intelligence, okay, DevOps engineer, data engineer, data scientist, security engineer, solution architect, other one is what, developer. Okay, I am looking for administrator with DevOps. Same way we have developer, solution, architect. Okay, now uh, just to go for administrator. See, uh, Azure administrator certification paper is what? 104, okay? Uh, just search it. And this is the 104, AZ104 Microsoft Azure administration. See, if you observe, we have a lot of certificates. For every technology, we have one certification paper. Okay, so uh, administrator certification number is AG104. Just click on it. Okay, here you'll get the syllabus. You people may have doubt that what is the certification cost. This is $165, guys. This is uh, $165 USD. Dollars. Now change it to Indian currency. Yeah, 4,800 including GST, it will go to 6,000. Okay, so Microsoft Kaju related any certification cost is 6,000 including GST. You can add 18% GST uh, for this 4,800, around you will get 5,900, around 6,000. Okay, yeah, next. And this is about what? Microsoft Azure administration. Okay, yeah, next. Go back. Okay, again, I am looking for what? AZ400, just type 400. This is Microsoft Azure DevOps. Okay, if you are not getting just highlight Azure, Okay, now type uh, 400. Yeah, this is what AZ 400 design and implementation Microsoft DevOps solution. So this is also same cost, $165. Okay, if we convert it into Indian currency, that is 4,800 rupees, including GST and all, it will go to 6,000. Okay, yeah. So this is the certification paper. This is the certification paper. And this is the syllabus. What it is saying? Uh, configure and process 15%, designing implementation source control 20%, and the release management 45%, uh, security and compliance 15%, uh, instrumentation strategy 15%. This is uh, 
syllabus of Azure DevOps. Okay, so these many papers are there for our Azure. So we have the, uh, we have artificial intelligence, administrator, developer, architect, data engineer, okay, machine learning, okay, cyber security. So all different types of certifications are there based on your requirement, you can proceed and learn the technology and get it the certified. Okay, get it certified. This is about what? Overview of Microsoft Azure certification papers. I will share this link, uh, just keep it with you for your reference. Okay, this is the certification you are. Next, as I said, I am going to cover AZ104. Okay, uh, Azure Administrator. Okay, AZ104. Okay, next Azure DevOps. These two are, uh, combination is very popular in the market. I am giving AZ DevOps 400 and uh, uh, AZ 104. Okay, right? Yeah, next. Next. Have a look. Uh, I am going to present one PPT where I have included all models and sub models. Let's see, I will open. Okay, yeah, this is the certification paper syllabus. Now, uh, already clearly mentioned that uh, this is 104 certification paper. Now, first thing, module one. Module one about what? Introduction, introduction to cloud computing. So what are the different models are there? Advantage of the cloud computing. Who are the vendors for Azure? Who are the vendors for cloud computing? Why cloud, why not? These topics we have discussed in last session. Okay, that is the model one. Model two, <coughs> Azure platform. So we will go through Azure portal. Okay, so in Azure portal, as I said, more than 200 services Microsoft has providing. So out of them, what are the services we can consume as per our business requirement? You know, right, if you consider one project, the project may require two VMs. Another project may require artificial intelligence service. Okay, from different projects, they are expecting something data science related services. All these services, how we can create. That all we will discuss it in model two. Okay, also we will go through that Azure portal. Azure portal has uh, many options, okay? Uh, how we can disable few options, how to get frequently used services, that all we will see in model two, okay? Model three is the subscriptions. What is the subscription guys? Any idea generally? If we subscribe something, like if we take any services and we go for that services and we pay for that then it's a kind of subscription yes correct simply i can say subscription is nothing but license yes okay subscription yeah. is nothing but license yeah. so microsoft providing n number of uh, subscription versions okay first thing i can say uh, azure free trial what is that azure free trial that you are going to use now Next, uh, we can, we will have pay as you go model. Pay as you go model. Okay, yeah, next. Okay, yeah, next. Uh, Visual Studio Enterprise. Visual Studio Enterprise. Next, also we have uh, enterprise subscription. Azure Enterprise. What is that? Azure Enterprise. 
ओके विजुअल स्टूडियो डेवलपर एडिशन विजुअल स्टूडियो डेवलपर एडिशन लाइक दैट वी हैव अराउंड ट्वेंटी प्लस सर्टिफिकेशन सॉरी अराउंड ट्वेंटी प्लस सब्सक्रिप्शन ओके या नेक्स्ट वी हैव स्टूडेंट लाइसेंस ओके विजुअल स्टूडियो एंटरप्राइज विजुअल स्टूडियो डेवलपर विजुअल स्टूडियो स्टूडेंट्स ओके वी हैव एन नंबर ऑफ सब्सक्रिप्शन so as per your business requirement we can choose one of the subscription then we will host all project related services okay yeah next free trial uh, i will let you know how to subscribe for free trial the free trial valid is just for 30 days okay just for 30 days okay yeah next next now uh, this is about what free trial subscription information okay yeah next what is the advantage of this subscription sir one organization may have n number of subscriptions clear please remember there are bullet points one organization may have n number of subscriptions okay yeah uh, i could see in my project around uh, 30 plus subscriptions what are the advantages for example uh, we are all working in one account one project may required uh, for one year after one year they are going to destroy it so they will take pay as you go model whatever the services which they are going to deploy they can consume it for one year after one year they will go and delete this subscription the moment they deleted this subscription whatever the services which we have deployed underlying this subscription everything will get deleted so budget will be stopped so we are away from that project just we are saving just consumed it the project is over we have destroyed the services okay that is how our organizations will use these subscriptions if you need 3 years 5 years or 10 years subscription they will go for azure enterprise things okay that all depends on business requirement next uh, another model create storage account and store the files okay what is the storage account what is the alternate of storage uh, you people are frequently using right to store your personal data images etc etc what was that maybe like i drive pen drive yeah we can say one try google drive am i right yep yeah same way microsoft introduced storage account where we can store pbs and pbs of data okay you know right uh, you people are watching my uh, sorry uh, you people are watching amazon prime videos am i right amazon prime video all the videos whichever you are watching whichever they have placed on amazon prime subscription so all these videos they are storing in aws storage in aws there is a service called s3 what is that guys s3 s3 means simple storage service okay so earlier uh, netflix netflix is the big customer for aws okay uh, in netflix whatever the web series all videos movies entertainment everything they are storing netflix people are storing aws storage itself now netflix is moving to microsoft azure do you know that how many of you know no idea sir yeah netflix uh, is going to consume azure storage okay uh, we got news one month back so netflix are going to owned by microsoft in future that that deal also going to be happen okay yeah next uh, in our ott platform i can say uh, reliance jio movie cinema okay entertainment serials okay a music all videos reliance people reliance jio people they are storing our azure storage itself okay yeah 
next that is about storage account what is the storage account storage account is a main space where we can store structure or unstructured data unstructured data in the sense movies if we have 1 lakh movies to store 1 uh, one lakh into each movie assume that hd 4k ultra hd video it is around 6 gb 1 uh, lakh into 6 it will go for around 60 terabyte or uh, 600 terabyte storage right same way um, to store such kind of videos unstructured data we will go and use storage account okay streaming now uh, here in microsoft uh, we have different types of what services based on our requirement we will proceed and consume the services we have storage blob file table queues etc etc okay yeah next module 5 implementing and managing the networking you know right uh, if you are real time professionals what you are doing your client data centers are there somewhere else maybe new york or singapore or malaysia so you are sitting in from your hyderabad office you are connecting to vpn vpn in the sense virtual private network the moment when you connect the vpn it is establishing the connection to what is that your client data centers then you will able to access the data services application content so how we can create our own vpn vpn in the sense virtual private network how can we host those services within the private network and access them within the network that all we will see in networking topic so what is the virtual network what is the subnet how can you enable the rules okay ports okay next how to associate these ports with particular network okay that all we will see in networking topic that is module 5 next module 6 implementing virtual machine so this is the main thing uh, without virtual machines there is no azure project not only azure any project there there is no any other projects without deploying virtual machine why because uh, virtual machines are playing vital role you have to deploy the virtual machines on top of it host the applications okay so how can we deploy the virtual machines okay next in the virtual machines uh, we have we have to configure ip address or how assign dynamic and static ips how we can assign that we will see module 6 okay module 7 i will show you how to deploy the virtual machine with windows operating system okay for this windows operating system how to add the disk how to extend the disk how to troubleshoot if we get any issues in os disk okay that we will see in module 7 okay module 8 i will show you how to create the vm with linux operating system on top of it how to host one java application you know right there are different flavors of linux what are they one is red hat second one suse come on third one oracle linux fourth one ubuntu define we have many things okay now uh, linux are open source okay how to create one machine with linux operating system on top of it how can you host one java application that we will see in module 8 okay yeah in module 9 uh, implementing azure app services what is that in module 9 implementing azure app services okay so so far whatever i have discussed it, that is i a a yes what is the full form of the ias infrastructure as a services just they are providing the service servers just we are consuming them that's it okay so far whatever the module site covered that is what infrastructure as a services from here i am calling it as pass platform as a services 
now tell me uh, what is the infrastructure as a service just we can create this vm with the windows operating system within span of a minute only minute on top of it whether you are going to deploy ias application or java application or dotnet or php that all depends on your requirement clear guys okay yeah next pass in the sense see here bandar is providing only virtual machines what about environment okay environment in the sense one second yeah environment in the sense what does it mean runtime environment we have to set up okay for example uh, you would like to deploy one java application to install uh, to deploy java application what is the web servers are required guys any yeah, idea tomcat yeah Apache Tomcat, Apache Tomcat, or else we can go for WebLogic or WebSphere or JBus. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So the installation of Tomcat, Apache, WebLogic, or WebSphere, we have to take care. We have to install on top of the VM and configure it. Then configure the port numbers, configure the DNS, configure the uh, application subfolders. Everything that we have to do that. Okay, when you go for pass, as I said, the name itself, it is describing that pass in the sense platform as a services. So total environment provided by the vendor, I mean Microsoft, just we have to deploy the application. How to deploy the application that is very simple. We have multiple method to host the services in Azure. Okay, so first thing, uh, what is that app services? App services are ready-made environment just where we can host our applications. Our application in a sense, anything, any type of application. Okay, uh, that's why I said .NET, Java, PHP, okay, uh, web apps, mobile applications, gaming application, anything. Next, module 10, planning and implementing disaster recovery. I said, right, there is a VM. All of a sudden, someone deleted, or it got collapsed, or it got corrupted. Okay, then in that case, how can you recover the VM? That we will see in module 10, backup and recovery operations. This we will call it as what? The uh, disaster recovery. Okay, next. Uh, module 11, planning and implementing Azure database. Okay. Uh, See guys, generally we have two types of database for Microsoft SQL Server. One is Microsoft SQL Server that is on premises. Okay, next Azure SQL Server that is cloud, Azure Cloud I can say. Okay, in on premises SQL Server, first you have to purchase the license download the software and perform the installation and configuration. When you go for Azure SQL Server, it comes under what? Pass, platform as a services. Just directly you can go ahead and create the store procedures, tables, synonyms, and consume it for your application. Okay, so how to create uh, Azure SQL Server database in Azure? and how to create the tables, how to establish the connection from app service to database that all we will see in model 11. Okay, for example, .NET application is there, which may require to communicate database. Yes, how can you communicate? How to pull the data from SQL Server to .NET application that I will write the code that is C sharp code. I will show you in model 11. Okay, model implementing pass services we have different apps like uh, um, a logic app function app okay uh, and also we can host uh, web services okay wcf urls how to do that that we will see in model 12 okay model 13 configuring metrics metrics in the sense monitoring Okay, for example, there is a one 
virtual machine if cpu utilization is cross and 80% you should know if cpu utilization is cross at 80% then it should trigger an alert okay uh, if virtual machine is down or stopped then you should trigger the alert okay how to monitor uh, all services in azure how to configure the alerts for every service in azure that we will see model 13 okay yeah model 14 active directory so active directory is a heart of the microsoft product guys i am repeating short form we will call it as aad aad in the sense azure active directory why i am telling this is heart of the microsoft product is without active directory there is no product Okay, for example, you people are using MS Teams in our offices, right? Nowadays, without MS Teams, there is no organization, I hope. Am I right? MS Teams, <clears throat> when you open MS Teams and searching for your colleague name or your project manager name, names are displaying. Those names are coming from where? Any idea? Anyone? Active directory. Active directory only. Okay. You know, right? Office 365 component. I said around 30 plus components. Okay. Total Office 365 has been integrated with what? AAD only, guys. Azure Active Directory. That's what uh, to consume SQL Server, to consume Office 365, to integrate some other product uh, with your users or enterprise consumers. Okay. Uh, we have to use. Azure Active Directory. No other directories are there to beat Azure Active Directory. Guys. Even when you go for AWS, AWS people should implement Azure Active Directory. They have their own directories, but very popular is Active, Azure Active Directory itself. Next, so managing the permissions. Okay, permission in a sense, see you are the DB administrator. I am the Windows administrator, someone storage, someone VM administrator. So according to their rules, their roles and responsibilities, how can you manage the permission? That we will see. Uh, manage directly and cloud environment. Okay, model 16 manage resource group. Okay, resource group in the sense, collection of resources bring underlying one group is called manage resource groups okay so how can you create the resource group how to host the services under one resource group that we will see module 16 okay module 17 what is that our rbac rbac in the sense role based access control for example uh, i am i am your client there are 10 virtual machines i should perform only stop start restart the virtual machine i should not do anything okay that case how we can create custom role that we will see module 17 okay module 18 traffic manager this is load balancer what is the load balancer how to distribute incoming traffic among multiple virtual machines that we will see module 18 okay yeah next module 19 backup and restore operations I said, right, there is a virtual machine, there is a SQL server, there is a storage account, there is a web app, okay, there is a uh, some other services. By mistake or accidentally, if they would have been deleted, how to restore the, the all these services? That all we will see backup and restore operations. Okay, yeah, next. So from module 20 to remaining all, we will call it as IAAC. What is the full form of the IAC? Real time professionals. Any idea? IAC. Infrastructure as code. Yeah, infrastructure as a code. See, PowerShell, ARM templates, Terraform, these three comes under. There is that IAC. So, PowerShell and shell scripting Terraform will be there for every cloud, guys. Every cloud in the sense, uh, if you go for uh, Google or AWS, Terraform, PowerShell, Cell Scripting, these three are manual. 
Okay, ARM template in the sense Azure Resource Manager that is native tool that can be used for our Azure Cloud Computing itself. Okay, so Terraform, uh, I can say it supports cross platform language. If you write one template in Terraform, same template can be hosted in AWS, Google, Azure, just change the providers, that's it. Okay, yeah, next, GitHub. What is the GitHub? Any idea? Frequent keyword nowadays. Code repository. Yeah, what is the GitHub, guys? To maintain project code. Repository. Yeah. Very good. Do you know uh, GitHub owned by which company? Earlier, uh, GitHub is different, where we can create uh, n number of repositories, public and private repositories. Now GitHub owned by one company. Do you know what is that? Anyone? Hmm. GitHub owned by Microsoft. Hmm. Okay. GitHub is now Microsoft product. Okay. That's why, uh, see, uh, to access the Azure portal. Okay. If I type portal.azure.com, here it is showing what? Signing with GitHub. Just one year, uh, 2021 John, uh, uh, Microsoft has purchased the GitHub. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, how can you store your project into GitHub? Okay. So, I can say for all DevOps courses, 100% they will use GitHub. Why? Because project code is there in GitHub how to create build and release pipeline, how to automate it from scratch, we have to configure uh, in Azure DevOps or uh, open source DevOps, wherever it is, whatever it is. Okay, yeah, next. Uh, this is about what? Uh, the syllabus uh, which I am going to cover is 104. Okay, so if you have more queries, uh, happily you can go for a Microsoft official site. I said, right, uh, 104, click on it. Here we have syllabus. Okay, uh, what they are covering, have a look. So Azure Manage Identity, this is Active Directory. Okay, uh, implementing and manage storage, just now I said. And the compute resources, this is the past services. Networking, I included. Mon monitoring same uh, if you perfectly thorough on these topics we can certify for azure okay this is the skill measure okay so these certification papers are valid for two years guys earlier when you certified it is a lifetime valid now things got changed uh, initially uh, az sorry first certification paper is uh, 70532 guys next microsoft changed it to az100 next they changed it to az101 next they changed it to az103 now in the market az104 these papers are valid for two to three years. You will get uh, you will get it on certification itself. After that, we have to renew it, renew it, and write the uh, another exam. Okay, yeah. So everything now all cloud services are changed. The valid of certification only two to three years. That's it. Again, you have to renew it. Right. This is uh, uh, Azure administrator story. Now I am going to discuss about Azure DevOps. Okay. So Azure DevOps nowadays is very, very, very popular. Okay. Uh, why? Because Azure DevOps comes under, what is that? Yes, A, A, yes. What is the full form of this as? Software as a services. It is like an Office 365. 
you need not worry about installation and configuration management in on premises everything would be taken care by microsoft just you'd like to know how to configure ci cd pipelines okay yeah now have a look uh, yeah az400 okay so in az400 first uh, i said right starting on notes for every paper azure administrator is mandatory guys administrator is mandatory you least bother about it whether you are going to learn azure or aws or google cloud that is totally up to you but learn administration from there move on to other services which are you required depends on your career path okay so uh, for azure administration as i said uh, uh, sorry azure devops as i said uh, azure administrator is mandatory okay so same i have included including azure cloud computing and uh, what is the azure and subscription details and portal model 3 is the app services okay see here when you configure the ci and the cd pipeline ci means continuous integration continuous deployment the outcome the application should be deployed in app services or where is that virtual mission okay yeah so that's why i have included app services that comes under pass next module for what is the dev apps okay azure devops totally they have integrated with azel model have you heard about it azel model yes or no now every project in the world my words are very clear every project in the world they are implementing based on azel model okay what is azel model any idea it's a software development life cycle when you are studying btech or mca you could see one paper called a uh, software development life cycle waterfall method you might have heard about it okay yeah earlier uh, we used to implement waterfall method now uh, every company every project they are implementing agile model guys that's why infrastructure also has been changed in it industry do you know earlier we have cubicle structure am i like like this so here one seat here another seat here another seat here another seat am i right guys yes like this you can move now uh, it infrastructure is would be like call center like this here they will put the chairs systems we have to say what does it mean wherever you are sitting it should be visible to everyone in the floor am i right yes yeah so that is the azel model okay so azel model first they have implemented in automobile industry that is in germany so later that is implemented in our it industry also. yeah okay uh, you might have heard about new keywords scrum master okay sprint user stories you may have doubt that a hey, once i join into the company how i will uh, how will i will get the work how will i get the work through agile model that is devops uh, sprint user stories task would be created by scrum master you have to fulfill the requirement i will give you in detail you need not worry about it. okay yeah next so in azure devops totally we have only five modules one is azure boards azure repos pipeline artifacts test plan only five modules okay so azure devops first they have implemented what is that agile model next azure repos okay azure repos means before purchasing the github azure should maintain their own repository right so they have provider repositories azure repositories using that we can store our project code okay yeah next model source control scm source code management 
a source code management. So we can use Azure repos. Alternative is what GitHub. Anyhow, GitHub is Microsoft product now. So what is the GitHub? How can you push the code into GitHub? How to manage the history? How to check in, check out? Okay, uh, how to do the code reviews? That all we will discuss it in GitHub module. Okay, module eight, uh, CA. CA in the sense continuous integration. Okay, this we will call it as build pipeline. Please remember these are important words uh, which we will discuss it in DevOps sessions. Build pipeline. Okay, next continuous deployment. This is the release pipeline. Okay, so in the release pipeline, assume that you are the manager. Before deploying the application into the productions, okay, before deploying the application into the production, once manager provide the approval, then it will go on sits in production environment. How to trigger an approval email, that all we will see in continuous deployment. This we will call it as release pipeline. Okay, yeah, next. Um, this is about what Agile methodology, I will totally cover. Uh, this is totally managed by Scrum Master, how to do that, that is really helpful for you. Next, model 12, Docker fundamentals. What is that? Docker fundamentals. What is the Docker? And why should we go for Docker? How can you install the Docker on Windows mission? How can you install the Docker on Linux mission? On top of it, how to manage the containers that we'll see model 12. Module 13, AKS, Azure Kubernetes Services. What is the AKS and how can you configure the AKS? How to host our application that we will see in module 13. Okay. Yeah. So this is about what? Overview of Microsoft Azure DevOps. Okay. Uh, this is the syllabus. If you have any questions, any queries, let me know. I will be happy to assist you. Any queries, any questions? So the modules which we saw, it's like many modules. So all the modules in the cover, like single lecture or like it will go? Uh, no, it will extend guys. One module, it may take two to three hours. Okay, that all depends. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. You said that certification having some limitations, right? Like as your one zero four and all this. What about the fundamental is also having limitations or it is? Uh, AZ 900 is Azure fundamental. That is basic, guys. Actually, how we will get, no? Uh, I have some services in on-premises, okay? Uh, I would like to manage the services in Azure cloud and on-premises. Then which type of cloud I should go? Which type of the cloud? Hybrid cloud. Like that, the basic questions would be there. Yeah, so limitations is there for that certification? I mean, to that uh, validity? Uh, yeah, uh, Azure AZ 900. Yes, sir. They actually, they are changing the syllabus. Yes, two years, three years validity is there for that as well. Okay. Yeah, there is a validity for all that. Yeah. As well. Yes. Sir. I have already AZ 900 and there is a validity. Yeah. So two years it is there, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, they are giving two years. That, after that, you have to renew or you, uh, you need to attend the, attend the exam again. Okay. So if we will give AJ104, then I don't think we need to go for AJ900, right? Yeah, correct. Okay. Okay, I said right, for all Azure certification papers, go to Microsoft official site. Happily, you can go ahead and verify. So uh, even after one year, 104 may be changed to 105. Are you getting? Now it is 104 is a certification number for Azure administration. It may move to 105. I am thinking after one year, guys, maybe 2024 or end of this year. Okay, in next session, tomorrow we have session. 
okay uh, tomorrow i am going to discuss about how to subscribe for azure free trial okay uh, how to subscribe for azure free trial uh, what all things tomorrow are we have session tomorrow is saturday yeah tomorrow we have session okay 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 tomorrow we have session tomorrow i am going to show you how to subscribe for azure portal uh, that is azure free trial then i will show you how to uh, verify the azure portal we will go through the features of azure portal okay. yeah any queries any doubts uh, but for AG1048, we will go through the uh, like your lecture and the material you are providing. Then that I think that will be enough, or we need to do some extra study as well. Ah, that is enough. Actually, I, I am going to share AG1044 hundred dumps. Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, yeah, material for every topic, even okay. recordings, interview questions. Uh, sample regimes, I will take care about it. So you can proceed with them, yeah. So yeah, like I don't need to worry about like some extra thing and that. So I will go with the, whatever you will provide, I will go with that. Yes, yeah, so that is more than enough, yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. Mm, yesterday you said uh, you will discuss about the job roles, all this stuff. Uh, yeah, so end of the course and all, we'll discuss about job roles, how to apply the things and all. Sir, for this uh, uh, dumps and uh, videos, uh, uh, we need to pay extra money, sir. No, not required. Uh, already I am making these dumps and all in Google Drive. I will give you the link where we, people can download it. No worries. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. In uh, DevOps, uh, it's covering like uh, Ansible, Kubernetes, something like that. Right? So, uh, it's in the syllabus, there is uh, it's not there mentioned actually. Sorry, sorry. In DevOps, so, like uh, Ansible, Kubernetes, and Docker related things is there, right? Yeah, Docker I have mentioned as, see, there, uh -huh. there are two types of DevOps, guys. One is open source DevOps, other one is Azure DevOps. When you go for open source DevOps, there they will teach about Ansible, Chef, Puppet, Docker, uh, I mean Jenkins, etc., etc. right? There okay. are many things, okay? This AZ400, whatever Microsoft implemented, uh, I have included the syllabus. So why ha I have included Docker and Kubernetes? They are, uh, what is that? Uh, okay. Very demanding two topics in the market. So if you are, will be facing any interview, if the questions are coming, you should in a position to answer for that. That's why I have included these two topics mandatory nowadays. Okay. And so like well, DevOps, open source classes is uh, running. No, in, uh, uh, open source DevOps, I'm not going to teach. This is only Azure DevOps. I said, right, Azure DevOps comes under software as a services. So it is pre-environment. I can say out-of-box functionality uh, where I will show you how to configure build and release pipelines. Got it? Yeah. No worries, sir. That's it. Yeah, any more questions? Is tomorrow's session scheduled at the same time and at the same time? Yeah, same time, 6.30 to 7.30. Okay. Okay. Can you share the links, that syllabus links, please? Uh, yeah, sure. Document, Anyhow, yeah. I will share this uh, document with you. Uh, yeah. Happily, you can keep it somewhere. No worries. <laughs> Hi, sir. Uh, yeah. This is Basha here. Uh, this is my personal question. Okay. Sir, actually, I'm working in server side, like uh, middleware operations I'm doing now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, because, uh, so my salary is, uh, as of now, I have only five years of experience. My salary is 18 LPA. Okay. Okay. So, now we'll uh, learn this uh, Azure Admin and Azure, Azure DevOps. Uh, so the, I mean, uh, if in case we'll change the company, they will provide that much of salary. Uh, yes. 
why not for azure administration and devops they are providing even 20 to 30k in between okay sir thank you 30 lakhs for an yeah okay sir. and one more thing uh, i'm a java developer actually okay, okay. so if with which one is better to like uh, is it uh, open source devops <laughs> azure devops no, no. i'm not uh, okay. about uh, really uh, which one is better yeah so that's what i am saying 80 percent companies now people are moving to azure devops guys so what is the challenges of open source devops now for example you need to work on jenkins okay so you need few servers install master slave record configuration everything you have to do it manually okay if something goes wrong the troubleshooting part it will take days and days like anything so coming to the azure devops uh, that is out of box functionality so the environment would be created and destroyed dynamically that is how they have designed uh, that is totally it depends on you whichever you like i can say azure devops has more demand in the market you know uh, some people will learn uh, aws then coming to the DevOps, they are learning AWS DevOps. Yeah. And uh, with like the open source DevOps, it is uh, uh, more uh, uh, coding related. What is there? Yes, it's... commands. Uh, you need to know Linux, everything. Uh, this Dev Azure DevOps, uh, no uh, uh, coding. What is there? Ah, no, only yeah, application no configuration. You should know how to configure, what are the tasks to be add in order to configure build and release pipelines that are very interesting azure devops uh, when you jump into there i will clearly explain you everything and after this uh, completion of this course uh, will you explain like uh, how to uh, do the certifications how to pay the yes. money yes yes i will help you out on certification no worries yeah. okay thank you So, uh, yes, tomorrow, as I said, no, I'm going to discuss about how to subscribe for Azure free trial. That is very important session. Okay. Uh, please attend. Be ready. Okay. Uh, thank Thanks you, everyone. Sir. Thanks for oh, your time. Have a great day. Thank Bye. you. Thank you, you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, can you see my screen now? Yes, it is visible. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So in last session, just uh, we had discussed about worry of Microsoft Azure and uh, different certification papers that are available for Microsoft Azure. Okay, yeah, next. So another uh, thing is today I'm going to discuss about how to subscribe for Azure free trial, right? How to subscribe for Azure free trial. Okay. Yeah. Next. So to subscribe for Azure free trial, we require four parameters. How many? Four parameters. Important steps. Okay. One is uh, we need to pass your information. Information in a sense, your first name, last name. Okay. Email address and address details. Okay. Second thing is uh, enter the mobile number enter the mobile number so you have to enter your mobile number okay third thing is uh, enter the credit card details what is that credit card details so without credit card we will not able to subscribe for azure free trial so credit card is mandatory okay so if you don't have credit card what should we do we cannot do anything 100% we required credit card details in order to subscribe for Azure free trial. Okay, yeah, next. 
path uh, fourth one is debit card also works debit card uh, debit card very few i will let you know what are the things are they are supporting okay okay yeah next the so final thing is terms and condition okay terms and conditions okay agree terms and conditions so uh, when you subscribe for azure free trial uh, for indian people okay you will get 14500 rupees that can be consumed for 30 days after 30 days automatically your account will get deactivated you need not do anything if you want to cancel the subscription yes we can do uh, even though if you forget or something happened even though uh, the account will be deactivated automatically after 30 days okay yeah for us people they you will get 200 dollars okay same that can be expect 30 days after 30 days what we have to do we have to create another account okay so you may have doubt that uh, after 30 days can we use same credit card can we use same details no okay to create any account in azure we have to change your mobile number okay uh, your mobile number uh, next thing is credit card and email address okay these three should be changed even though if one parameter is matched you will not able to create azure another free trial account okay now feel free and ask me if you have any queries you should not ask these queries in between next uh, classes so in order to create another account okay you have to change mobile number credit card credit card information and the email address sir i have one doubt yes uh, after com completion of free trial uh, can we use same mobile number credit card email uh, that um, pay as you go model now uh, yes pay as you go model anyhow you are paying same. right you can use anything no worries we can continue after free trial yes experience. yes yes okay thank you yeah okay next but uh, uh, for, yeah 14500 you told right that yes. free trial yes so there will not be any billing amount or something ah nothing this i said right they are providing free credits okay so then we can continue with the same account and the same card na for free trial yeah no that's what free trial to get the 14500 free credit you have to enter the credit card okay, okay. once once this free trial is over uh, if you mm -hmm. would like to continue same account then you have to migrate your account into pay as you go mode okay okay yeah okay us people okay. will get uh, $200 free credits we can call them as what well, free credits don't think that these credits will be uh credited in our bank account just it will appear in the azure portal so if we create one virtual machine i have used it for one day then they will charge 500 rupees okay i have created artificial intelligent one service okay i have consumed that service for two days assume that two days cost is 2000 rupees that 2000 rupees would be debited from that 14500 free credits got it i have created another azure kubernetes services i have used for that service around one week for one week charges is assume that 5000 then the 5000 would be debited from this 14500 free credits how are the charges uh, shikar like compared to aws it's a nominal or it's costly in azure uh, it is less cost i will show you yeah they have officially okay. provided in microsoft aws account I've used AWS account. Even if you use for some services, that is free tier uh, services, it is uh, not uh, too costly. So I was wondering, uh, I means if we use uh, pay as you go uh, service, right? Means mm -hmm. it will not be costlier. Uh, 
because every time we don't have to means we cannot use the different credit cards not so that's what i was thinking yeah yeah that's what uh, aws is totally different azure is totally different azure strategy yeah. is totally completely different okay, okay. now the cost azure, are less sir compared to yeah it is less cost itself Uh, hourly basis billing uh, so you know right in aws when you subscribe it will be there one year okay after free credits are over automatically uh, invoice would be generated even though you are not paying uh, it will be valid for three months after three months you can leave that account in aws am i right yes yes yeah, yeah. here nothing uh, it is full they have rules and regulations guidelines strictly they are following no risk yeah microsoft nowadays they are trying to market leader and one more question sir if i have access to like enterprise version then still i should create the free account or like i can work with that like i can right now i can access the azure uh enterprise account in the sense like i work in azure so i can access azure services uh, you mean to say your organization account yeah yeah actually you can use it why because your organization bearing that amount then you can create this services whatever you want you can uh, do r and d no worries okay so, yeah, but true. yeah but uh, your organization mm -hmm. should provide you the approval why because that is the cost whether they are approved or not uh, that check with your management team okay so because yeah. if i want to do some practice then yeah might be they can charge with that right yes everything even though you are using enterprise for your organization if you yeah. create one virtual machine and consume it for one hour yes that would yeah. be chargeable oh okay okay that we i need to confirm it with my organization yes yes okay. so nothing is free guys everything is chargeable that's it okay okay no worry yeah okay a uh, few accounts organizations they won't allow you to create uh, services for r and d purpose why because it is the chargeable the company has to bear that account that's why maximum 80% companies they won't allow you to create the services and deploy them for r and d purpose okay that's what whatever you did whatever you have to practice do it in pre trial itself remaining 20 company 20% we don't know i don't know Okay, no worries. That's why I have some doubts, so that's why I confirm. Yes, yes. Yeah, they will say then. Yeah, I will use it. So without informing them, if you create one service immediately, alert our billing will go them. Uh, so okay. immediately they will ask you, why did you create this service? Just provide the justification. Is there any reason and all? Many questions will come into the picture. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, no, fine. Yes, I will look into that. yeah correct uh, next uh, this is about what overview of microsoft azure subscription okay yeah next uh, after enter the credit card details you will be charged 2 rupees for indian people how much 2 rupees this amount will be credited back to your account within 1 to 2 working hours guys why they are charging is just uh, whether you are genuine user or not just to verify they will charge 2 rupees you will get one otp that has to be entered once you enter the otp 2 rupees would be debited so after 1 to 2 working hours immediately you will get this amount back to your account okay for us people they will be directing a uh, 1 dollar what is that 1 dollar okay yeah these are the mandatory steps please let me know still if you have any queries uh, in future you should not ask the subscription related queries i don't have credit card what to do sir yeah if you don't have credit card uh, i know that uh, so these debit cards are accepting one is icici and the city bank and kotak mahindra okay these three debit cards are accepting as per i know try out another debit cards if they are accepting that is well and good happily you can create free trial 
And when we will create the account, sir, there is an option like uh, create a free trial account or like there will be some normal sign in and at that time they will ask like you have to use go for the if you want to do the free trial you select this one yes 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 i will show you how to subscribe to azure free trial now i'm okay. going to do that okay no worries yeah okay so far it's clear so whoever doesn't have the credit card so you people can use ICICI, Citibank, Kotak Mahindra. I am telling this story three months back. Now, what is the rules? I don't know, uh, but try it out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next. Uh, yeah. So, to know anything about Azure, I can suggest you only one URL. I am not asking to remember many URLs. The URL would be azure.microsoft.com. Please remember. I am asking you to remember what is that azure.microsoft.com. Okay, so if I get any queries, if I get any uh, troubleshooting steps and all, I will go and verify in this URL itself. For Azure, we have one and only one URL, azure.microsoft.com. This is completely for documentation purpose documentation and troubleshoot purpose. I said, right, Microsoft providing like more than 200 services. If I get any queries, if I get any issues regarding those services, I will go and search it at only this URL. Okay, now just copy, uh, drag and drop here, automatically it will take us to that URL. You know this feature, right? Okay, in the notepad, whatever you have type, just go and drag it. Automatically, it will take us to that URL. Yeah. So Microsoft doing a lot of business, a uh, lot of features they are adding. Uh, try to adapt them. Okay, uh, I think yesterday you might have seen that. Uh, Nadal said they visited Hyderabad. Okay, so what is what they are doing now? They are adding AI feature uh, for Bing. Now it is going to be very popular compared to Google search. It is in testing phase. Maybe it will be available uh, in next six months. So their intention is to beat Google search. Okay, that's what they mentioned one word called uh, Microsoft GPT chat. Have you heard about that news? Hey, yeah. 